Today I'd like to show you how to create the Hebrew verb filter using Lagos 4.0 for Moody Theological Seminary. First of all, I'd like to make sure that you're up to date with your synchronization. So at your home page, click on this little icon and make sure that you're up to date with all of the latest features of Lagos Bible Software 4.0. Now we'd like to open up the Hebrew text. So click over here on Library and type in AFAT in the dialog box and it should bring up your Anderson Forbes Analyzed Text Hebrew Bible. Go ahead and select that and that brings that text up. Now we're ready to create a visual filter for that morphology on that text. Go to File, Visual Filter, and it brings up another dialog window. We want to first of all change the name from Untitled Visual Filter number 2 uh, or you might be one or three or four, whatever uh, visual filters you've already possibly created in the, in the past. Click on this little pencil icon, and we want to change the name to MTS Hebrew AFAT. That'll be the Moody Theological Seminary Hebrew Verb Filter applied to the AFAT morphology. Now we'd like to switch over to morphology not basic or Bible but morphology and we want to search the Anderson Forbes text so click on all resources and type in AFAT and now we're going to search the Anderson Forbes and, uh, analyzed text one more thing to do is notice that this says Anderson Forbes Aramaic morphology we want to make sure that we switch that over to Hebrew morphology so highlight and click on that and switch over to Anderson Forbes Hebrew morphology, not the Aramaic. Now we're ready to begin putting in the features for the verb in this visual filter. In the Find dialog window, type the ampersand or the at symbol, and notice that brings up the part of speech dialog menu. Scroll down to verb, and notice now this is Anderson Forbes morphological system of the way they tag the Hebrew text. So now we want to select certain uh, features of the verb to highlight in color for Moody Theological Seminary. So first of all, let's click on the infinitive absolute, but also there's another uh, infinitive form and that's the infinitive construct. So both of those should be highlighted and if you click anywhere out you now have the symbols for both the infinitive absolute and the infinitive construct. Formatting, we want to change the solid colors not to any of the other colors that are available. And for the infinitive uh, absolute, the infinitive construct, we would like to select purple. Notice now it brings up automatically another uh, dialog window. Type the ampersand once again or the at symbol. Go to verb. And now we want cohortative sequential. But also while you're there, select prefixed imperfect sequential. That's our way of told verb forms. And we'd like to then select blue. Once again, it brings up another dialog window. Type the at, verb, and now we want to go to cohortative. We're also going to select other verb forms as well to have the same color. So not only cohortative, but also jussive prefixed imperfect and the preterite. So those will all then be yellow. Another dialog box. Verb. Now we want to go to the suffixed perfect sequential which is our weak ital form as well as our suffixed perfect form which is our ital form and we want those to be red. Type the ampersand once again, verb, and we want to select the imperatives, both the insistent imperative as well as the normal imperative, and for formatting we'd like to select pink. One more, we have the part of speech for the verb, and we have to select the four participle forms that Anderson Forbes divides them. So it's the noun, verb, noun, participle, as well as the noun, verb, participle, as well as the pure noun, 
participle and the pure verb participle. And those will all be green. Now, as you can see, whatever text we had opened uh, to the Anderson Forbes, now that color uh, visual filter is now applied. So you can click out of the visual filter dialog box. And if you want to toggle on and off the visual filter, all you have to do is go, while you're in the Anderson Forbes Analyze Text, to this visual filter icon, click on it, and you can toggle on and off our MTS Hebrew AFAT visual filter. That concludes what you need to do to create a visual filter for the Anderson Forbes Analyzed Text. Thank you.